السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ یو کین ہیئر می آل رائٹ گڈ انف سو دس از All right, so today is week three, day one of the, our online internet and workshop that we are having for regional campuses. And uh, today I am joined by Madam Rabia Amir from Karachi, right here in Islamabad. <coughs> uh, she has traveled all the way from Karachi because she has to attend a workshop. And uh, since she is here, so she is sitting right next to me, but not covered by the camera here. So, Uh, she'll, she will be joining me live sitting here and uh, for rest of you uh, we are going to have uh, our session today that is primarily like from this time onwards we are going to focus pr- primarily on the uh, utilization of Turnitin in itself like we will discuss all things Turnitin nothing else we have discussed preliminaries so far in our first week we we covered so many details that were about plagiarism itself and then later on we covered things uh, just one minute please madam can you hear me Madam, can you hear me from Hyderabad? Okay, good enough. All right, so in our first week we discussed things about uh, plagiarism itself, general matters, students' perception, and the current practices that are going on in the name of online versus, uh, sorry, free versus paid plagiarism online check. Second week, we discussed things that were particular to uh, collaboration. We discussed different modes of collaboration, and uh, we discussed things like Dropbox for sharing things, screencast, screen sharing for, uh, for the purpose of sharing information, seeking help from somebody or from others. So in order to b- build better collaboration among ourselves in regional campuses, last week was covered by all such things. This week and the next one, uh, they are actually too much work, I must indicate right now, because this talks specifically about using Turnitin itself. And we will, we will have things that will be covering basic discussion about how Turnitin processing works, how documents are processed, and we'll go deep inside it, try to see all sorts of issues, things that you have heard, things that you have not heard, and this will be asking you to practice a lot side by side. That is, I'll be sharing guides with you, asking you to practice on those guidelines. Hence, testing you on different ends, giving you sample documents, asking you to process. So this much, this much of the work is coming up. And uh, let me tell you how this is all going to happen. Uh, all I have to do is, I have to, uh, first off, uh, there are certain guidelines that I already have made regarding using Turnitin. So they will be just like your coursework. You have to go through them just like you went through the insert citation stuff that was in Microsoft Word, those videos. So those videos, I find them a convenient resource. You can see them, you can see them again and again so that you can copy whatever is being shown to you inside the screens. Same goes through for Turnitin using. So yes, some of you are using Turnitin, I know that. but. That's the base level of using. We are going to have an intensive, in-depth working mechanism that we'll try to see. So you have to make sure that you are very attentive, you have questions, ask me timely, not right during the session. Of course, during a session I have to try to cover things, we'll have discussion at the end. Plus, if you have any query, just go ahead, type it to me, send me a screen share, send me anything, but be very prompt because your clarity of these things is crucial and when we'll try to check you on that, of course we will see how good you know the intricacies that are inside a Turnitin account. Right now, <clears throat> I'm going to just open an account, 
show you quickly how things happen and then we'll move on to some more meaningful discussion i'm not going to of course go through that stuff that how a document is processed from the basics for that matter i have made videos that i feel are going to save your and my time so if we have such things available so let's make use of it but when we meet like this we have to make sure that we make good use of this time by discussing things that we really cannot cover in the videos there are certain things people try to tell you or often on things that you might be believing yourself about run it in kaise kar lo to aise ho jata hai we have to see like we will try to see uh, how things in crystal clear shape are let's get to work we have a turn it in account where are you all right <coughs> and before i say anything one last thing that is um for this purpose for this duration when we meet uh, i am going to create seven or uh, six email accounts i'm going to put up official request here six email accounts every account starting with the word turn it in so for instance turn it in dash multan at namal.edu.pk turn it in dash lahore so there are going to be six each regional campus is going to have one but when i say regional campus that of course remains tentative depending on so many things that i discussed with you so for now you will get this email address or us is email address pe based i am going to create a turnit in account for you and what are you going to do with that that account you are going to use that as your playground and i hope you know what a playground is that is a place where you can practice things at your will because i don't really want your personal accounts to be a location for that matter so turn it in account banta hai email address ke upar i don't want to involve your personal email addresses too so what are we going to do i am going to create i am going to send a request today officially to ask for 6 7 email addresses each one of them is going to have a simple pattern i'll share the passwords with you uh, personally one by one sending you individual emails and i'll create turn it in accounts for you too and i'll tell you the password of those accounts as well so what happens is and of course uh, for the training and for the future as well uh, those in that 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 information remains shared with me one person only so that means like i will be having a shared knowledge of the passwords that you have of the things because we have to make sure that we work in collaboration so that we can we can see how things are going if you have an issue we can just open the account from here and listen to you on the phone or listen to you on the skype ji bataye kya masla aa raha hai so that we can see things ourselves so we have to build a collaborative network like this so how is it going to begin i'm going to create your email account turn it in specific email account and i am going to create a turn it as a dedicated regional campus turn it in account to these two things based on them you will keep practicing yourself on that so just play around try all the options risk free no tension and we are not going to process anything that belongs to anyone in the sense ke hum gaye humne sample ke taur pe chadhai aur phir ye masla ho gaya so we are going to remain very very careful in anything we do in the practice i just wanted to tell you this so that you should be sure that you are not using your personal email addresses you are not using your personal internet and accounts no matter what so this one thing i am going to ensure that by tomorrow when we meet you all have that thing settled probably by this evening also i will try to make sure i do it super fast so that you can have the internet and accounts and you know what to do with that let's get to business since we are joined by some people who are not very much familiar with the stuff so i will probably discuss some basics if you know it of course doesn't matter it's just like a repetition so for those who don't know it pay close attention to what happens turn it in itself is a web based service that asks us to uh process documents inside it for similarity check this is the one definition so inside turnitin we have two three things you have to understand there is something called classes add a class it asks you to imagine that you are sitting in a classroom so it asks you to create classrooms in each classroom you can have separate assignments and in each assignment you will submit a student paper inside it for example i want to create a class that is if i say on
online turnitin training i have created a class and i need that magnifier glass just a minute so that I, you can see things mm hmm all right I hope you can see this online training online internet and training I've created a class you have two options standard class or master class basically standard class is the one which is all by itself one class nothing attached a master class is something which means if one class has different sections if for example you are talking about BBA so you have a master class of BBA just ke andar BBA first BBA second BBA third ya BBA morning BBA evening ya phir aap BBA 2012 BBA 2013 you can create further classes inside it so either you go for a standard class normally we go for the standard class if you think that you you are going to work in a mechanism where you would like to keep yourself organized par aap kya kare aap MA English ki ek master class banaiye same goes true for mba you can create one mba master class same goes true for bba one mba master class uske andar you can create further classes if you like to have a look let me show you very quickly where am i have a look i have created master classes uh, the master classes appear in blue and the standard classes appear in brown is brown or orange so just see i have created a master class of M MA thesis yeah i have created a master class of mphil see here mphil 2013 uske andar i have created a class for econ economics education english ms per share so it's just like folder within a folder see this carefully uh, we have a option of standard class standard class ye karega ki wo sari classes ए बनानी शुरू कर देगा वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव उसमें फिर आपके लिए कंफ्यूजन हो जाएगी कि आप चाहते हैं कि आपके सारे एम इंग्लिश एक जगह पे रहें सो यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू वर्क सिस्टमेटिकली सेम गोज ट्रू फॉर पीएचडी वॉच दिस पीएचडी अरेबिक एजुकेशन इंग्लिश दिस इज दिस इज द अटर्नेट एन अकाउंट आई एम यूजिंग इफ यू लाइक टू लुक इन साइड इंग्लिश फॉर इंस्टेंस तो आपको इसके अंदर फर्दर क्लासेज बनी हुई नजर आएंगी वॉच पी एच डी टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन पी एच डी टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन डिविजन एंड दीज आर जस्ट टू राइट नाउ ठीक सो वट आई हैव डन इज I have uh, sir, sir, excuse me may I ask a question small question sir screen nazar nahi aa rahi bilkul jo aap dikha raha ja rahe hain you may like to reconnect this happens you may like to reconnect right right when you come back we will we'll start Check. Check. all right so the first thing i told was about class three concepts keep that in mind class fine you have created a class us class ke andar what do you have you have assignments assignments ko aapko naam dena padta hai because uh, assignment kya cheez hoti hai it's just like aapke ek class mein ek assignment thi final project dusri assignment thi term project teesri assignment thi thesis usi class mein so you can create different assignments in different assignments you have to sub you have to submit students papers lekin hamare case mein kyunki we have assignments the assignments that we have are normally those uh jisko hum thesis hi kehte hain so agar aap for instance jis tarah humne kaha ke a one tenant in account is going to cover uh, like for just have a look i have created an assignment for bba multan june 2013 all right क्योंकि मुझे पता है कि मुझे बीबीए की साइड से एक ही चीज आनी है दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द इंटर्नशिप रिपोर्ट लेकिन जून 2014 में भी मुझे यही चीज आनी है सो व्हाट आई डू इज कि मैं इसी क्लास के अंदर रहते रहते आई विल क्रिएट एन अदर असाइनमेंट एंड इफ यू लाइक टू हैव अ लुक एट दैट इंग्लिश वन इज द मोस्ट पॉपुलेटेड वन लेट मी शो यू वॉच दिस इज एम इंग्लिश मास्टर क्लास आई कैन क्रिएट सेक्शन inside it also depends like i said there are ek class ke different sections hain ya ek class ki different types hain morning evening night so aap ek master class banaiye mba uske andar section create kar dein mba morning 2013 mba evening 2013 mba evening aur mba night and you keep all the mba 
इमेज इन वन साइड अच्छा सो इफ आई क्लिक ऑन एम ए इंग्लिश टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व और एम ए इंग्लिश टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन लेट्स हैव अ लुक वॉट इट शोज हु माई गॉड एम इंग्लिश आई हैव क्रिएटेड असाइनमेंट्स इन साइड इट चूंकि मुझे पता है कि सब असाइनमेंट्स थीस इज ही है सो देर इज नो कंफ्यूजन अबाउट दिस एम इंग्लिश टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन जून मॉर्निंग ए सेक्शन राइट ये उसकी रिविजन है इवनिंग ये उसकी रिविजन है इवनिंग रिविजन वन फिर ई एल टी मॉर्निंग उसकी रिविजन दिस गोज ऑन 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 एंड देन वी रीच लाहौर एम इंग्लिश 2013 जून लाहौर इवनिंग आई हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी स्पेसिफिक इफ यू आस्क मी समथिंग इफ आई हैव टू फाइंड समथिंग आई नो वेर आई एम गोइंग अदरवाइज यू रियली विल इजिली बी लॉस्ट इन साइड यूर ओन अकाउंट और सबसे बड़ा मसला दैट आई हैव बिन आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू से बट आई हैव बिन फाइटिंग विद द पीपल राइटिंग द ई मेल्स दैट फॉर गॉड सेक यू हैव सच एन अमेजिंग प्रोडक्ट दे डोंट हैव अ सर्च बटन इन साइड इट दिस इज द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम वी हैव एट द मोमेंट दे डोंट हैव अ सर्च बटन यू कैन can't find anything by writing a search bar for example you are looking for nazir somebody named razi nazir whose thesis you are not sure ki aapne kahan process kiya you won't be able to find it no way so since they don't have a search button inside it somebody has the mic on please turn it off we have the background noise all right so the first thing that we are seeing at the moment on the screen is about creating classes and inside the classes creating assignments let me show you one sample assignment because uh, yahan pe do char baatein maine aapse discuss karni hai ke <coughs> when you create a class i'll just create a sample class for example this is a sample class i have created test class ka naam hai oops it is expired just one minute there is a class named assignments okay i mean i'm i'm not saying that assignments are going to be processed by you but i'm just showing you uh, actually i'm looking for some demo class most of them are expired let's open ms all right ye meri ms ki class hai management sciences ki class hai i want to create an assignment inside it i'll click assignments step 2 step 1 create class step 2 create assignment assignment mein we normally have this stuff paper assignment peer mark assignment revision assignment reflection assignment look at the types paper assignment is the most usual one that is an assignment that you have asked people to write simple nothing else peer mark assignment not applicable to us this is an assignment that normally is given from student to student like if there is an assignment that you don't want to check yourself but you want the peers of the student you check them so aap yahan specify kar sakte hain ki ye assignment kaun si hai third is revision assignment most important one because uh, people are having very little idea how to process a work again like if there is a paper you have processed aur us pe aapki percentage bahut zyada aa gayi hai aapne second time usko process karna hai so this is one you have to click revision assignment the third one i'll show you the process in a while to reflection assignment another type of assignment that doesn't apply to us anyway we stick to paper assignment yahan pe you, you click next step acha this is a place you have to see very carefully assignment title i want to give an assignment title for instance uh, project report okay this is the assignment title i am giving point value optional hoti hai kyunki hum us बट शुड आई से असेसमेंट पैराडाइम में एग्जिस्ट नहीं करते जहां पे पॉइंट्स वैल्यू दिए जाते हैं कि आपके असाइनमेंट के पॉइंट कितने हैं आपकी वैल्यूएशन ऑनलाइन होगी हम यू समझ लीजिए कि वी आर यूजिंग अ कस्टमाइज वर्जन ऑफ टर्न इट इन इट सेल्फ वी आर नॉट यूजिंग द प्रॉपर फुल वर्जन ऑफ इट या देखिए असाइनमेंट कब स्टार्ट हो रही है कब खत्म हो रही है सो ये उस सूरत में है कि इफ यू आर आस्किंग स्टूडेंट्स टू यू आर डूइंग द प्रॉपर वे कि स्टूडेंट्स आके अपनी असाइनमेंट्स एक डेडलाइन तक जमा कराते रहेंगे कराते रहेंगे उसके बाद एक डेडलाइन आएगी दैट विल बीन द एंड सो ये उस सूरत में है सो यू प्रोबली डोंट नीड टू टच दिस एट द मोमेंट अच्छा ये है ऑप्शनल सेटिंग समथिंग मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव आस्ट मी डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली आई आई नीड टू एड्रेस दिस नाउ वेन यू क्लिक ऑप्शनल सेटिंग 
it asks you certain certain other options too now for instance allow submissions after due date mostly this remains no no problem with that generate originality report for submissions yes this is normal and this one is also okay exclude bibliographical material from similarity index of all papers in the assignment ye do aakhri jo options hai na do teen options ye is pe zara we'll discuss a little dekhiye tenetin report ke andar bibliography exclude karne ki option hoti hai everybody knows that but like i have been stressing sirf wo bibliography exclude hogi that is properly made in the first place otherwise this is a dangerous option please understand the risk aap exclude bibliography pe click karte hain that is only with the faith that the bibliography that you have in the document is processed really accurately otherwise kya hoga ki aap jab is pe click karenge to kuch aur bhi exclude ho sakta ho jayega aur ho sakta hai ki bibliography entries ko ye touch hi na kare i have seen that happening you sometimes see a lot of highlights inside the report which are only of the uh, bibliography entries you click the button nothing happens fir aapke liye mushkil ho jati hai ki you have to exclude them one by one this is a huge problem so please make sure that uh aapke paas option hai ki aap usko yahi se by default hi set kar dein ki ex exclude lekin isme risk ye hai ki you won't ever get the real picture fir ho sakta hai ki aapko report generate karte hue usko reinclude karna pade check karne ke liye ki usne kya nikala so i don't personally touch this option i leave it optional jab report samne aati hai if i see the highlights i check kyunki aapko nahi pata ki aapke student ne bibliography kaise generate ki hai so you have to check it in person to case to case basis so leave this untouched second exclude small matches sir this is a question if you say yes right at the beginning and you are not even giving bibliography like the you said that you ha fir kuch aur exclude ho jayega kuch aur bhi ji ji this is the problem acha uh, agar hum student se kehte hain ki aap bibliography na dein right so in such cases you should try your level best that you don't uh, click yes in the options here because if you do this it will exclude something else you will, you will never know so uh, this option needs to be used with care number one number two exclude small matches another tricky category uh, my experience with this has been very dodgy i'll be i'll be speaking with you the experience because right now we are trying to have information on the same level my experience with these three option has been dodgy sometimes they are okay sometimes they are not okay because hum log jo documents hain produce karte hain we don't produce documents according to the entirety of the standards we have our weaknesses we have our grammatical problems we have so many other problems in tamam ki wajah se aap student ko risk pe dal dete hain if you play with these options because ye options bani hain proper kaam ke liye proper grammar ke liye proper referencing ke liye zara sa aap aage piche karte hain so either a very a very cheating student will get away like this you will never know you won't be able to catch him agar aapne in option se play kiya hua right so be very careful you can exclude this button exclude small matches you can do that so hoga kya jo chote chote matches hote hain na ek word do word pakistan 100 dafa likha hua hai darwin's theory of evolution 600 dafa aa raha hai wo is tarah ki choti choti cheezon ko exclude kar dega but that won't matter a lot this does not amount to a huge decrease in percentage so this option is as good as nothing but you can try doing that Sir, exclude means that yeah he is it's not it's not going to highlight the my minor things three allow students to see an lt report that is okay this one people have been discussing fighting with me about this ones submit paper to standard paper repository we have other options no repository aur yahan niche likha hua hai search options repository ye dono baatein gaur se sun le because i want to have this thing on record with you number one सबमिट पेपर टू आगे ऑप्शन होती है स्टैंडर्ड पेपर रिपोजिटरी दिस इज अ रिपोजिटरी दैट एन इट इन मेंटेन्स ऑफ ऑल स्टूडेंट पेपर्स अक्रॉस द ग्लोब मिलियंस एंड बिलियंस ऑफ पेपर्स इफ यू चूज नॉट टू सबमिट द पेपर 
to the repository itself. Aksar log ye option ka bahut zikr karte hain ji ab no repository choose kar le you can process the report aur aapki percentage high nahi aayegi. Fallacy. This is a huge fallacy. Because Tenetian repository ek din mein mera khayal hai koi 100 150 dafa update hoti hai. बिकॉज इसकी इस पे पेपर फ्रीक्वेंसी इतनी ज्यादा है कि यू कॉन्ट बी श्योर अबाउट दिस आप ये ऑप्शन कर लीजिए यू कैन ट्राई डूइंग दिस ऑप्शन और पीपल गो विद दिस फेस के जिस चीज को आप रिपोजिटरी में नहीं डालते वो इट रिमेन्स इन द वैक्यूम और आप उसको दोबारा प्रोसेस करेंगे आपकी परसेंटेज हाई नहीं आएगी आई एम वेरी सॉरी टू इन्फॉर्म यू दिस इज अगेन वन डॉजी एरिया आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस अदरवाइज टू लोगों ने ट्राई की नो रिपोजिटरी चूज करके and what happened was that uh, their paper part of the paper got indexed somewhere they were swearing that i swear i chose no repository i said you don't swear to me it's a machine you don't know the frequency of its updating it updates like hell it updates so much because aap iske related ke statistics padhe recently they were posting a figure of patani kitne million na kitne billion papers they are about to reach that target so many people are putting the papers in repository people think of this as as a back door no repository option is considered as a back door and you know if you try to escape through back door you can face anything like the like the famous things go on you can you can face anything outside the door and i i don't personally encourage anyone to do this because if you are genuinely kaam karne wale hain you have no um what should i say you don't have any evil intentions uh, you should be clear about what you are doing acha secondly how this is important for you to know aap student repository choose kyun kare reason being because all the works that are produced in namal have to be the property of namal please keep this in your mind very clearly mere paas बेशुमार टेटिन रिक्वेस्ट आ रही होती है अभी रिसेंटली सुबह मैंने एक देखी पेपर व्यू रिक्वेस्ट आती है आई शो यू व्हाट दैट इज के हमारे स्टूडेंट्स का काम अगर कोई किसी यूनिवर्सिटी में उठाना चाहता है तो दे रेली कैन नॉट इट्स नॉट दैट इजी नाउ बिकॉज अब हम अपना सारा काम अपने स्टूडेंट्स का जैनवन हर तरह का काम वी आर ट्राइंग टू पुट दिस इन रिपोजिटरी होगा क्या कि रिपोजिटरी इज एक्चुअली अ लॉक एंड की सो if you let the paper be submitted to standard student repository standard paper repository this means that you are securing the intellectual work done in your university as well your choice because this this this, this makes is very very obvious because otherwise kya hoga ki agar aap student repository mein kaam nahi dete and somebody else gets his hand on it सो आपका स्टूडेंट रोता फिरेगा कि मेरा थीसिस चुराया गया और आप कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते सो दिस इज वन वे वी कैन सिक्योर द वर्क ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दैट आर हैपनिंग इन दिस यूनिवर्सिटी आपका पर्सनल काम हो आप उसमें नो रिपोजिटरी को ट्राई करें इफ यू हैव सेंड इट समवेयर एल्स आई एम नॉट जस्ट सजेस्टिंग आई एम सेइंग इफ रियली यू आर क्यूरियस व्हाट हैपेंस ट्राई करके देख लें यू मे यू मे हैव अ शॉकिंग रिजल्ट टू सो दिस इज वन थिंग यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल अबाउट के लीव दिस टू बी द स्टैंडर्ड रिपोजिटरी स्टफ बाकी बातें करते हैं मैंने इतनी लंबी तकरीर आपको करके बता दिया कि उसमें अनसर्टेनिटी है देर इज नो श्योरिटी नो गारंटी इट्स अ बैक डोर पीपल think it's a back door log isko bahut use karne ki koshish karte hain ji no repository choose karo paper ko 100 dafa process kar lo maine aapko us din bataya ki mere paas ek phd ka case phasa hua hai can you believe 11 times 11 times processed from personal account and deleted and when i processed it i saw 11 of the sources maine dates likh ke kagaz pe de di maine kabhi bhi ye aapki 11 times in dates pe process hua hai and you are saying you have never processed it don't lie to the machine the machine is showing me everything so be very careful about this acha ye jo option hai na ye wali search options ye bahut zaruri hai these three options are actually three categories against which a student account check hota hai for instance you have a student's work jisko aap thesis ko aap process kar rahe hain to it will check it for these three things one is period periodicals journals and publications fine another this is the paid resource jo internet pe available nahi hota zyada tar inme se wo hain jo ke paid services hai second hota hai current and archived internet jo ke hamara website ka data hai jo ke freely available hai ye number 2 hai aam taur pe jitne bhi free 
فری آن لائن پلیجرزم ڈیٹیکشن سروسز ہیں وہ صرف اس کو یوز کر رہی ہوتی ہیں جو آن لائن پڑا ہوا فری ڈیٹا ہے بے شک بہت بڑا ہے لیکن وہ اس کے مقابلے میں کچھ نہیں ہے جو یہ ڈیٹا ہے پیریوڈیکلز جرنلز اینڈ پبلیکیشنز کیٹیگری نمبر تھری اسٹوڈنٹ پیپر ریپوزٹری یہ وہ چیز ہے جو کہ آف کورس فری سروسز کی ایکسیس میں نہیں ہے آپ نے اس کو چیک لازمی کرنا ہے تاکہ آپ کے اسٹوڈنٹ کا کام جو باقی اسٹوڈنٹس جنہوں نے کیا ہوا ہے آپ کا اسٹوڈنٹ کوئی آپ کو کسی اور کا چوری کیا ہوا کام نہ پکڑا دے پلیز گیو دس ان مائنڈ جو چیز اسٹوڈنٹ نے پروڈیوس کی چاہے وہ چائنا کا پی ایچ ڈی کا اسکالر ہے جس کا تھیسز آن لائن فری پڑا ہوا ہے یا یونیورسٹی آف ہانگ کانگ کے تھیسز ہیں جو کہ بہت سی یونیورسٹیز نے اپنی فری تھیسز ڈیٹا بیسز آن لائن رکھی ہوئی ہیں لوگ پورے پورے تھیسز ڈاؤن لوڈ کر کے بیٹھے میں ایسے لوگوں کو جانتا ہوں جن کے پاس جن کی ہارڈ ڈسک بھری ہوئی ہیں پی ایچ ڈی تھیسز ایم فل تھیسز ڈھیر لگائے ہوئے ڈاؤن لوڈ ڈاؤن لوڈ ڈاؤن لوڈ وٹ ہیپنز از کہ وہ سارے کا سارا اسٹوڈنٹس کا کام ہے اٹ از ناٹ دیر اون ورک آپ کو جب کسی کا کام چیک کرنا ہے بجائے اس کے کہ آپ کل کیس بنے کیونکہ ایسے کیسے اچھی سی میں بہت آتے رہتے ہیں لوگ پورے پورے کیس جمع کراتے ہیں جی کہ میرا تھیسز چوری کیا میرا ریسرچ پیپر چوری کیا فلاں نے کیا ایسے کیا آپ جب بھی کسی سے کام لیں تو یہ آپشن اسٹوڈنٹ پیپر ریپوزٹری کو لازمی چیک رکھیں سو دیٹ وین ایور یو آر پروسیسنگ ایف اے اسٹوڈنٹ کمز ویری کنوینئنٹلی ٹو یو اینڈ گیوز یو ہز ورک اور ہر ورک یو پروسیس اٹ اور آپ کو پتا ہو کہ یہ کام آلریڈی کہیں ہوا ہوا نہیں ہے یہ چوری کا نہیں ہے سو دیز آر دی ہڈن آپشن پیپل نارملی ٹرائی ٹو ایکسپلائٹ ویل آئی ٹولڈ یو دا ڈیٹیلس گریڈ مارک ڈزنٹ اپلائی ٹو اس بیکاز گریڈ مارک از وی آر ناٹ گریڈنگ دیم آن لائن اینڈ وی ہیو دیز تھنگ آلسو اینیبل گرامر چیکنگ یوزنگ ای ریٹڈ ٹیکنالوجی دس از ایکچولی گڈ اف یو کلک یس اینڈ بائی دا وے اف یو ریئلی کیوریس کہ جس بندے نے لکھا ہے وہ ویدر دا ورک دیٹ ہیز بین ریٹن ویدر دیٹ از آف گڈ گرامیٹیکل کوالٹی اور ناٹ سو اٹ کین ہائی لائٹ دا گرامیٹیکل پرابلمس لیکن اس کام کے لیے ہمارے پاس ایم ایس ورڈ بھی ہے سو آئی ڈونٹ پرسنلی ٹرائی ٹو اسپینڈ ٹائم آن اے سلور مشین دیٹ گیوز اس لائک دیٹ گیوز دا ریزلٹس بٹ دیٹ ٹیکس ٹو مچ ٹائم اچھا یہ ایک آپشن دیکھیے نیچے وڈ یو لائک ٹو سیو دیز آپشن ایز یور ڈیفالٹ فار فیوچر اسائنمنٹس کین آل آف یو سی دس آن اسکرین آئی ہیو ہائی لائٹڈ دیٹ یاد رکھیے کہ آپ نے ایک اسائنمنٹ بنائی اس میں آپشن بناتے ہوئے یو ہیو یوز میکسیمم میکسیمم آف یور برین دیٹ وٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی دا کرائٹیریا آف مائی اسائنمنٹس آپ اس باکس کو چیک کر دیتے ہیں یو ڈونٹ ہیو ٹو ڈو دا ہول ایکسرسائز اگین میں نے ابھی اس کو اگر میں اس کو چیک رہنے دیتا ہوں اینڈ آئی کلک سبمٹ میں اگلی جو بھی اسائنمنٹ کریٹ کروں گا وہ اسی کرائٹیریا پہ ہوگی اس میں اسٹوڈنٹ ڈپازٹری بھی چیکڈ ہوگی اس میں وہ اسٹوڈنٹ ڈپازٹری میں ڈائریکٹ چیز جائے گی بھی صحیح سو ان لیس آئی ڈو اٹ مینولی دیر از نو آپشن دیٹ اٹ از ایور گوئنگ ٹو چینج آل رائٹ سو لیٹس کوئکلی کم ٹو دا فیکٹ دس از دا اسائنمنٹ آئی ہیو جسٹ کریٹیڈ گیٹ اٹ and now i am going to view the assignment just one minute she's got a call all right so this is the assignment this is the assignment here us assignment mein ab mere paas wo stage aa gayi hai that i have to submit paper i was telling you the step step 1 create a class master your standard i gave you a detailed demo of that step 2 create an assignment uski maine aapko options aur sari چیزیں بتا دی اسٹیپ تھری سبمٹ اے پیپر اب پیپر کا ورڈ جو یوز ہو رہا ہے دیٹ مینس اینی تھنگ دیٹ یو پروسیس چاہے وہ ایک صفحے کی اسائنمنٹ ہو چاہے چار سو صفحے کا تھیسز ہو اس ٹرن اٹ ان کی زبان میں دیٹ از نون ایز اے پیپر اسٹوڈنٹ پیپر یہ ورڈ یاد رکھیے گا سو اف یو کلک سبمٹ پیپر It gives you this option. Now we have a few, for those of you who have been using it, there are some options that have changed. Let me show you. As a first thing, let's have a look at this one. Single paper, single file upload. This is what I have made a video. I will send you links to that in detail. Single means that you have to process one thesis or one thesis. You have to process one document. You have to process one thesis. Option two. You don't have one. You have many. Multiple file upload. The multiple file means that you may have 
10 theses with you, 10 documents with you that you have to sit down and process at once. In that case, of course, I believe that you have the documents in a separate folder in one location so that you have downloaded them from the email and you already have them. Come here, the options for multiple paper download are different. I'll just uh, go back to the single one. Just one minute, please. <coughs> Done? Yes. Okay. Single paper upload, single file upload, write the name of the person, for example, Nan and second name Rashid. Uh, please uh, be very careful. There is a thesis submission process. I have, I will share these, this is coming up for this week. If students take file, lete hai, to this is very crucial that the student gives you the correct spellings. I repeat, correct spellings. The spellings that are on registration or the registration card or the university card or what. Students do a lot of fun because they either give you the name that they prefer themselves. If someone's name is Chaudhary Aslam Ali, then he will Chaudhary Aslam Ali. Sometimes he will write Aslam Ali. Sometimes he will write Aslam Ali. So for you, this is a headache. Turn it in, there are two things. One is a first name and the last name. It doesn't have margins for those long names. You must, you must know such people, jinke char char naam hai at a time. Thank God we are not covering those hajji and all that, but there are still people. I know a person who has, whose name is Sayyid Zawar Hussain Shah Hashmi. Can you believe this? I know such people. So, aapke liye, aur phir masla hai hoga ke student ne aapko first time thesis diya Zawar Hussain. Second time aapko thesis diya, to usme likha hua Sayyid Zawar. Aur yahan, main jo process karne baitha hoon, you really can't imagine the headache I have here. कि ये बंदा कौन है? I've recently sent a case to one of the campuses here. I don't want to name. उसमें मैंने उनसे कहा कि मैंने कहा ये first attempt में बंदा मेरे पास है, लेकिन second में बंदे का नाम कुछ और है, और जिसका आपने मुझे second time करके भेजा है, उसका first है ही नहीं. We are trying to settle that case at the moment. So नामों में बहुत careful रहें. You have to keep a record of the people when you have when you make folders. You actually have to go back and see कि उसका first name क्या रखा था, second name क्या रखा था, with the accurate spellings. Submission title optional है आप thesis का पूरा title type करना चाहें optional है अगर आपको लगता है कि this is too much of a work best ही होगा कि आप इसको direct नाम दे दें कि ये M English का thesis है simple as that I personally would like to put full names लेकिन sometimes you really can't do that अभी चुके मैं regional campuses को देख रहा हूँ so for me this is not possible to type each and every one of them so you have to keep it a little general ये M English का thesis है that's it अच्छा we have three things to do here you have to be interested in it. One is either you want to choose file that you want to upload from the computer or from the Dropbox directly or from Google Drive too. One day I'll talk to you about Google Drive as well. Dropbox directly करने में फायदा तो ऐसा सच है लेकिन doesn't really matter क्योंकि इसमें होता ही है कि ये आपको हर दफा Dropbox के basic layout पे ले जाएगा वहाँ से आप फिर folders में जाएंगे फिर folder के अंदर जाएंगे फिर उस जगह पहुँच के फिर upload करेंगे it takes almost the same time लेकिन अगर आप choose from the computer करते हैं तो option I personally like तो ये आपको इस तरह पहुँचा देगा जी किसको upload करना है now I have to quickly reach somewhere just a minute for instance, ये है चलें ये document है ठीक है मैंने एक document choose कर ली that I want to upload please understand मैं एक student का दिया वा काम upload करने लगा हूँ I click open oops you don't have permissions oh I have to get permission from someone just a minute Hold on. God, I can't find a document. Um, actually, I installed the Windows again. All right, thank God, I got something. I got a document that I have just chosen, this one. 
and uh, this one you have to read this one you have to read i asked this question to you you remember in the small quiz that what should be the file size it should be less than 20 mb maximum paper length 400 pages ye aap kuch se apply na ho because this is normally phd people are that crazy to write this much sorry i myself am going to be one soon so number 3 file types the file types you have to accept from students microsoft word acha interestingly ye baat abhi recently add hui hai powerpoint you know you can catch people on this too this is happening now jo log hota na google se presentation utari aur naam sham change ki aur chalo ji presentation de di that is going to end also so for those if you have if you are facing such crowd they are in trouble again we have powerpoint processing also available now baki ye hai ki isme pdfs hain post script baki pdfs html rich text format rtf open office some people use that odt we have that too or uh, this i don't know what is this plain text jo maine abhi liya this is plain text theek and upload when i upload a file this should show me a notice here submit paper right and then it says submitted so this probably will take a few seconds and it shows me this your submission was successful this is your digital receipt that's it now this is a single file upload i have done i want to go to inbox and see kiski percentage kya aayi i'll click this it brings me here you see this gray box इस ग्रे बॉक्स का मतलब यह है कि अभी रिपोर्ट जेनरेट नहीं हुई इट टेक्स सम टाइम इट डिपेंड्स इस पे कोई फाइनल वर्ड नहीं है हो सकता है अभी फौरन आ जाए इट मे टेक टेन मिनट्स इट मे टेक वन आवर यू नेवर नो सो देर इज नो फाइनेलिटी हाउ मच टाइम आर रिपोर्ट टेक्स टू जेनरेट आई कीप रिफ्रेशिंग द पेज विद द होप दैट इट मे गिव मी समथिंग समी प्लीज टर्न ऑफ द माइक let me show you let me show you what a report looks like just for your satisfaction that when a report is generated you see uh, colored bars like this and if you keep coming down there there is going to be a changed color 31% aapko hec allow karta hai ki agar 19% ya isse below jo upar chal rahi hain these reports are okay technically there is not much trouble here if something exceeds 19% that is where the revision comes in ye wo point hai jo maine aapse koi se pucha tha right so i am showing you on screen ke 19% looks like this a green bar lekin please understand ke 25% tak ye green bar rehta hai so hamare yahan kyunki pakistan mein we have fixed it on 19% so you have to stay on 19% aap jab kisi bhi bar pe click karte hain to view the report for example ye ek thesis hai and i want to click here view the report acha ji ab yahan pe ye hai aapki report acha ye jo layout aap dekh rahe hain this layout is an old one and i personally like it for the reason that it loads fast functions well न्यू वन ठीक है आई मीन देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम विद दैट लेकिन न्यू वन का प्रॉब्लम यह है कि उसकी जो रिपोर्ट आप डाउनलोड करते हैं दैट नॉर्मली डाउनलोड इन पी डी एफ फॉर्मेट एंड ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट आई होप यू गेट इट इस ये टर्मिटन की रिपोर्ट का जो लेआउट है दिस इज एन ओल्ड वन जो नया वाला है वो यहां से आता है आपके पास जब आप फर्स्ट टाइम खोलेंगे तो वो ये वाला खोलेगा दिस वन दिस वन यस दिस वन You see this this does not load very easily because thoda sa ye heavy hai it looks like this jo jo aapke paas first time khulega text highlight hua hua hai yahan pe sources aa rahe hain right side pe theek hai you keep coming down it will keep showing you the references and all that acha there is nothing wrong with this आपको रिपोर्ट डाउनलोड करनी है एंड वेरी ऑब्वियस थिंग आपने डाउनलोड करके अपने पास रख ली है हर रिपोर्ट यू डोंट हैव टू जस्ट सी एंड इन्फॉर्म द स्टूडेंट कि आप क्लियर हैं आप जाएं ऐसा कुछ नहीं है एवरी रिपोर्ट हैज टू बी डाउनलोडेड इन द सेम फोल्डर वेर यू पुट द थीसिस सो दैट थीसिस एंड द रिपोर्ट शुड बी इन द सेम फोल्डर अच्छा दिस इज द प्रिंट एंड डाउनलोड बटन ऑन द राइट साइड लेफ्ट साइड हेयर दिस वन 
get it print and download button here if i click this it asks me download pdf of di digital receipt for printing or download pdf of current view for printing say if i say for printing if i click this let's see and just a minute please now what happened is mm -hmm. all right so i have downloaded this let me show you what it shows this is the digital receipt just digital receipt of one page right because i wanted this for printing yaad rakhiyega ke report ka pehla page is known as digital receipt yahi use hota hai aap print karke apne paas rakhna chahe print karke result ke sath lagana chahe this is what what is used lekin yahan pe masla ye hai ke just a second the issue is that this was the one i did if i want to see this one digital pdf of current view for printing digital pdf of receipt basically yahan masla ye hai ki jo iski report nikalti hai that doesn't really help students a lot because usme aksar cheeze black and white ho chuki hoti hain numbers lage hote hain ki ye text 22 number hai iska source number 22 right side pe aa raha hai but Uh, in my understanding i don't know i'm not really comfortable with that this is my opinion i could be wrong but i am sharing with you how i work and you can differ if you like to follow you can do that too what i personally prefer is if this opens i click this one text only text only report this one when i click this it takes me back to this one the view that i still stick to acha isme kya hai ki if you straight away go to download the report click download it asks me do you want to save and download a copy of this report to your computer yeah why not if i click okay it brings me here now look at the name of the report turn it in originality report underscore ye aage jo lambi si cheez likhi hui hai this is the paper id very crucial normally what i do is either here or at the end of it jab aap iska naam rakh rahe hain to i normally put an underscore and write the name of the person at the end or before the end of the name now if i write here and i'm going to save it in the relevant folder i repeat folders are crucial jis folder se aapne is thesis ko utha ke process kiya usi folder ke andar reports ko dal de jaiye so that you know ke ye thesis hain aur ye unki reports niche padi hui hain theek hai this is i have saved the report the report saves within no time and it saves as an html file html file again going back to the quiz uh, the file that uh, is just like a web page if you click this it asks me how do i want to open this aap student ko bhejenge to student ko ye cheez milegi this is the downloaded report jisme upar puri summary aa rahi hai niche sources aa rahe hain colors ke sath keep coming down keep coming down sources pehle sare aayenge uske baad text shuru ho jata hai yahan se text mein you can keep seeing text mein ye colored highlights hain एंड ये दरमियान में ब्लैक टेक्स स्टूडेंट का लिखा हुआ है सो यू कीप कमिंग डाउन अब यहां पर आपको थोड़ी से यू हैव टू यूज योर जजमेंट के रेफरेंसिंग का प्रॉब्लम है या ये ब्लू का मतलब ये है यू सी द नंबर नंबर थ्री सी द नंबर नंबर थ्री कम डाउन do we have anything else after that no i think this is the end of the document oh has yes, we have you see this one number 3 keep coming down again number 3 ye source number 3 chal raha hai jis se student ne leke cheezon ko mukhtalif jagah pe piece piece kiya hua hai you can see this you see this number 3 3 and blue theek and this is one and red one and red i'll just go up quickly to show you this was source number 
जिससे वो मैच आ रहा था वन परसेंट मैच स्टूडेंट पेपर फ्रॉम दिस दिस डेट स्टूडेंट पेपर सबमिटेड टू हायर एजुकेशन कमीशन ऑन दिस डेट ये सोर्सेज की पूरी लिस्ट है सो so, आप ये जब स्टूडेंट को भेजते हैं इट्स अ वेरी टाइनी एच टी एम एल फाइल दैट यू कैन अटैच एंड सेंड टू द स्टूडेंट्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स कैन सी द रिपोर्ट एंड वर्क अकॉर्डिंगली देखिए आपके पास जब रिपोर्ट आती है इट मेक्स एवरीथिंग क्रिस्टल क्लियर के वट रियली इज गोइंग ऑन इफ अ स्टूडेंट इज वाइजली ब्रेकिंग डाउन अ डॉक्यूमेंट और अ पैराग्राफ और अ पैसेज दैट ही वॉन्ट्स टू यूज इन इज वर्क एंड स्प्रेड इट ऑल थ्रू द डॉक्यूमेंट टर्न इट इन हैज सच ए सर्टन मैकेनिज्म इट puts them all together and considers them as one source ye hai turn it in report all right so aapne what i have demoed in front of you was first you have to when you open your account first thing you have to do is you have to add a class add class ke andar we have gone to the extent of adding an assignment when you add an assignment Inside the assignment, like this one, we have add an assignment. Assignment ki settings मैंने आपको बता दी उसके बाद third thing comes in when you have to submit the paper. And submitting the paper में भी आपको मैंने single file upload का बताया इसमें multiple file upload की option भी है इसमें zip file upload की option भी है which means if you have 30 thesis and you want to process them all at once, good enough. Put them in a zip folder. and then upload the zip folder in tamam tino ki mere paas i have the videos made i'll send you the link that will be your practice and you can see single file upload multiple file upload and zip file upload ki alag alag videos maujood hain ki ye kis tarah karna hai lekin procedure jo hai wo main aapko bata chuka hu so this was it for today and i'll try to make sure that i get you a turn it in account and turn it in specific email address as soon as i can do it probably today inshallah and uh, uh, we will continue on from this there will be some tasks that i am going to ask you to do today and you have to wait for my email probably by 1 or 2 pm today inshallah so i will try to send you something by that time check your emails and uh, with the following the links of the video and one more thing very quickly uh, something that i forgot telling you many times uh, the videos that i have on the videos whose links i send you i'm going to send you links to my channel itself so on videos ke niche download ka button hota hai so if you really want to download something for instance uh, ye video hai maine aapko is video ka link for instance bheja hai theek hai so aap jab isko video click karte hain to is jagah pe aapko download ka button milega isme nahi hai because abhi maine is pe rakha nahi hai majority of cases mein i have put there so mai jis is video ko aapko bhejta jaunga i will ensure that i give you the option to download that like this one conference paper presentation pe maine like i have uh, made a small video explaining the process if faculty members are going to do this abhi mai isko public kar dunga so isme download ka button idhar maujood hai so if you click this button the download button here so it gives you these two options please पे क्लोज अटेंशन टू दिस बिकॉज अगर आपको ये प्रॉब्लम है कि आपने ऑनलाइन बैठ के वीडियो कैसे देखनी है दिस इज द बेस्ट वन वीडियो लिंक पे जाए जब आपके पास फारिक टाइम है वीडियो लिंक पे जाए डाउनलोड पे क्लिक करें आपको ये नीचे एक या दो ऑप्शन आ जाएंगी अगर एक रेजोल्यूशन अवेलेबल है तो एक जिस तरह ये वीडियो एच डी में मौजूद है सो यू कैन इफ यू थिंक यू हैव टाइम गुड एंड इंटरनेट कनेक्शन क्लिक एनी वन ऑफ दैम इट विल आस्क यू कि कहां डाउनलोड करनी है इसको डाउनलोड करके रख लिया इसको डाउनलोड होने दें सो दैट वेन इट इज डन यू कैन सिट डाउन विद योर पीस ऑफ माइंड आपको पता है वीडियो आपके पास मौजूद है ऑप्शन टू दैट आई विल पुट दैट इन द ड्रॉप बॉक्स एंड आई विल शेयर द लिंक यू ऑलरेडी हैव शेयर माई वीडियोज फोल्डर इन ड्रॉप बॉक्स राइट मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव सेंड मी द रिप्लाई सो either i'll put the put the the videos there also but i will prefer that you download okay so that's it for today we have 10 minutes for question answer and over to you in just one minute uh i have a question first from 
Madam Noreen Sharif from Hyderabad campus. She asks, what is the benefit of digital receipt and okay. When I'll talk to you about the second thing, about the second person being added, I'll speak to you about that probably from my office on the chat, okay? All right, so the first thing that she says, benefit of digital receipt. Digital receipt, I have told you that the in report is the first page. Hota hai. So basically the benefit of that is that in results that we submit here, आपको किसी बंदे की टर्न इन रिपोर्ट लगानी है सो यू आर गोइंग टू प्रिंट दैट फर्स्ट पेज एंड दैट इज जस्ट लाइक अ समरी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन कि ये बंदा है प्रोसेस इस टाइम पे हुआ ये इसकी रिपोर्ट है सो एंड बिकॉज दैट प्रूव्स कि उसका काम टर्न इन से प्रोसेस हुआ है सो डिजिटल रिसीट्स आर एक्चुअली नीडेड आप स्टूडेंट्स को रिपोर्ट भेजते हैं या रिजल्ट में लगाते हैं एग्जामिनेशन सेक्शन रिक्वायर्स देम स्पेशली इन केस ऑफ थीसिस सो यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड इंडिविजुअल स्टूडेंट्स टर्न इट इन रिपोर्ट प्रिंटेड जस्ट वन फर्स्ट पेज अगर थीसिस सौ पेजेस का है तो उसको आपने सिर्फ फर्स्ट पेज उसका प्रिंट करना है रिपोर्ट का दैट इज अ डिजिटल रिसीट सो दैट इज वेरी क्रुशल अदरवाइज पेपर पे प्रूफ नहीं है कि बंदे ये काम प्रोसेस हुआ है मशीन में तो प्रूफ है सो आप वर्ड ऑफ माउथ थोड़ी देंगे यू विल प्रोवाइड अ रिपोर्ट जिसको चाहिए दैट इज गोइंग टू बी दी डॉक्यूमेंट्री प्रिंटेड एविडेंस राइट मैडम आई होप आई आंसर योर क्वेश्चन राइट ओके यस एनी वन एल्स एज अ क्वेश्चन बट इट इज रिगार्डिंग द प्रीवियस वन मैनेजिंग सोर्सेज वेल दैट दैट कैन कम इधर यस एनी अदर क्वेश्चन जी प्लीज इरफान सर असाइनमेंट की जब हम ड्यू डेट देते हैं एक्सपायर डेट देते हैं जिसमें वो ड्यू होता है सर और किसी वजह से हम उस डेट को एक्सटेंड करना चाहते हैं आफ्टर द एक्सपायरी डेट श्योर श्योर यस रिगार्डिंग ड्यू डेट्स एंड एक्सपायरी डेट बेसिकली इट इज समथिंग टू डू विद द क्लास हैव अ लुक ये मेरी एक असाइनमेंट है दैट आई क्रिएटेड नेम्ड असाइनमेंट्स मतलब I if if that confuses चल a demo class. Demo class में भी एक्सपायर हुई हुई है सो होता यह है कि इफ अ क्लास इज एक्सपायर्ड दिस मीन्स इन साइड दैट असाइनमेंट भी एक्सपायर हो जाएगी आप उसमें पेपर सबमिशन नहीं कर सकेंगे राइट सो इफ समथिंग दिस लाइक दिस हैपन्स इफ अ क्लास इज एक्सपायर्ड यू जस्ट हैव टू क्लिक दिस बटन ओवर हेयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैट क्लास जिसका आगे स्टेटस एक्सपायर्ड आ रहा है ठीक Click this. Kashif uh, Sahab, if you could please mute your mic. Thank you. All right. So we are going to update the dates. <coughs> Sorry. Class name. This class end date. This is where you have to uh, renew the date by clicking. Come down. This is November 2013. I choose uh, December 2013. Go on January 2014. When I do this, I have to click on any date so that it changes the date here also. 12 March 2014. I hit submit. The status of this class has to change. This was the demo class. Demo class active. Right? I have changed the uh, end date. अच्छा class end date के अंदर आप जो बात करें assignment end date. Most of the cases में assignments expire because of the classes. Most of the cases में. अगर first करने के एक individual class है that you feel needs to uh, is expired, so you may like to click more actions and edit settings. जहाँ submit paper है ना edit settings. Click this. It takes you back to the first page. जो आप assignment बनाते हुए that you had it. यहाँ पे देखिए start date 9 September, end due date 16 September, and end post date 17 September. Despite this fact. Despite this fact, अभी आपने देखा कि मैंने इसकी demo class को मैंने 2014 तक extend कर दिया। So let me try to submit some paper in this assignment, जिसकी end date और due date में फर्क है। 
लेट सी वेदर गिव्स मी द ऑप्शन यस इट गिव्स मी द ऑप्शन आई मीन इसमें मुझे रोका नहीं है सो ज्यादातर बात जो चल रही होती है वो क्लास डेट की एक्सपायरी की होती है आप क्लास डेट्स को फ्रेश रखें उसके अंदर वाली असाइनमेंट्स भी अलाइव रहेंगी नो मैटर उनकी ड्यू डेट गुजर गई है या नहीं लेकिन अगर क्लास डेट एक्सपायर हो जाए दैट मीन्स दैट इवन इफ इन साइड द क्लास असाइनमेंट्स की डेट्स आपने आगे रखी हुई है दैट डजेंट मैटर इरफान साहब आई थिंक आई आंसर योर क्वेश्चन ओके हाँ बट बेसिकली वेन यू क्रिएटेड फर्स्ट टाइम एंड यू फील दैट अ क्लास हैज टू गो ऑन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम तो आप उसकी एक्सपायरी डेट बहुत ज्यादा आगे रखें वेन यू फील कि इसमें काफी कुछ आना है राइट क्वेश्चन यस प्लीज सर क्लास एट जैसे नवन का जो है ना एग्जाम ब्रांच वो एट सेमेस्टर तक अलाउ करता है डिग्री कंप्लीट करने का एट सेमेस्टर तक पहले सिक्स था अब एट कर दिए तो अगर हम ऐसे करें टू ईयर्स जैसे आज कर रहे हैं प्रोसेस टू ईयर्स के बाद की कोई डेट हम फिक्स कर देते हैं वो बेहतर नहीं हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल नो इशू वो तो आपकी आपको अंदाजा है कि हाउ लॉन्ग इट इज गोइंग टू गो नो इशू ओके Any one else has a question? Sir, uh, how is the, for example, uh, there's a, uh, okay. May I, you may I go, sir? May I go, sir? Please, please. I have a meeting. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, sir, this is like uh, how how is the division year division? For example, M A let's suppose 2012 ki a class thi, fir ek M A 2013 ki class hai, fir M A to ham usko you know we we separated within the brown. <laughs> okay. Let me show one thing real quick. Uh, but the people who are gone. Okay. She has asked me about the master class and the standard class. I think I should make a small video about this, showing exactly कि आपने किस तरह sections बनाने हैं because that will come inside the tasks too. Hmm. I'll make it today and send you all the link because अभी uh, since uh, since, uh, since people are gone actually, so they will miss it out. ठीक है. Okay. ठीक है. All right, everyone. Uh, Inshallah, see you tomorrow. Okay. Allah peace.